What movies have I cried in? Oh, man. Um, Don't say, like, Finding Nemo or something. I did. No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I cried the first time. Your mom played uh, college basketball. Your dad was a Georgia State Trooper, was the athletic director of where Correct. you went to high school. Um, pregnancies for you and your siblings were tough to say the least. What do you know uh, about what went on on that front? Oh uh, man, my dad would tell the story every couple days that when we got in trouble or something. Hey Dwight, now let me talk to you. See your mom, your mom, she lost seven kids. And then you came. And man, we were so hurt that we lost all these kids. And she was just so excited to have her baby being born. And she called you her miracle child. And I'm like, dang. So it, it, was, it was pretty tough hearing that, but I was like, man, we got to try to make up for whatever they feel that they lost with just how we, we treat people, how we treat ourselves, and how we respect our, our, our parents. So I just tried to give my parents and you know my family the best of me every single day um, just to tell them thank you uh, for just for me being here. You know, uh, I know it was tough for my mom. You know, my dad said she was on bed rest almost the whole time that, you know, she was pregnant with me. And, and why? Uh, she was afraid to lose another child. You know, she had lost some in some really bad ways. And uh, she didn't want me to, she didn't want to lose me. And I was a preemie. Like by two months, right? Mm-hmm. It was crazy. Yeah, I, when I read that, I'm like, how does, it, yeah, like, I don't know what happened. Be I don't know. I'm, I'm the tallest person ever in my family, so it's like, it's crazy. Yeah, and you have, I believe, an older sister, younger mm -hmm. brother. Um, your mom and dad have Correct. been together. They've been together. Um, how uncommon was that uh, uh, among kind of your friends growing up? The great thing about it back then is that you know, everything was family oriented. You know, uh, we did everything together. You know, and. That's kind of where we got we got our foundation, you know, from being at you know our school, uh, the church that we went to, you know. So we got a lot of help and a lot of guidance from, you know, just every parent, you know. So it felt like we were almost covered on all bases from the people who went to our school and church. I think my my parents they they put us in the right situations, and I appreciate that. Uh, my mom she started out in the court system you know, working at the courts. She was a court clerk. Oh, really? And uh, we would go up there every day, and, uh, you know, I would see a lot of, the, you know, the people who had, you know, made some bad decisions, so they had to, you know, go to jail and stuff like that. And, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want my mom to, you know, have that type of, you know, hurt of seeing, you know, her child, you know, go down that path. So I, I just tried to really just stay focused and lock in on, you know, what I want to do in my life. What impresses you about the effort your parents put in to provide for you and your siblings? It's just that they never stop working. You know, no matter what the situation is, no matter what they had going on, you know, my parents, you know, continue to work, continue to, you know, try to inspire us and motivate us by, by the work that they were putting in every day. My dad being, you know, a cop, which is a very strenuous job, uh, an amount of hate that he received, you know, from just just people that, you know, would see him in a cop car. You know, I had opportunity to ride with him a lot in a car and I could just feel and see how people, you know, they, they hated the fact that, uh, you know, he was a cop. What, what would they do or what would they say? Just uh, shoot birds at the car, you know, cuss, cuss at him or whatever. And I'm like, man, my dad ain't never did nothing to none of these people. He's just doing his job. What did he say to you about it when it was going on at the time? Uh, he just told me not to focus on it. Continue to stay locked in on, you know, my destiny and, and what I want to be in my life. What do you think you learned from them? I would say with my dad, you know, just perseverance. You know, uh, being a cop is very hard. And uh, I didn't realize how hard it was until I started riding with him and I got a little bit older. And, you know, just dealing with people and 
emotions and how high and how tempers can flare when, when a cop pulls you over. Uh, just seeing all that stuff, you know, and talking to my dad about it, you know, just surviving those different situations, you know, that's, that's pretty tough. And, uh, you know, with my mom. You get your emotion way. from her, right? I, I do. Uh, but I understand, you know, um, losing seven kids can really make you emotional. And a lot of, ti a lot of times I think um, the kid usually in, ends up being how that mom was during that time of pregnancy. And she was very emotional. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty emotional. Uh, I've cried a lot during movies, basketball games. Wait, what movies? What movies have I cried in? Oh, man. Um, Don't say, like, Finding Nemo or something. I did. No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I cried the first time because it was a scene where um, Nemo had just found his dad again. And so it was like, it, it was emotional because it's like he, he was lost in the ocean and his dad is looking for him all over the place. He went through all types of, you know, sharks. He fought sharks. Uh, there was a little fish that had one little light. Then he had an annoying friend who wouldn't stop talking, but she forgot everything they talked about. To find, to find his son, I was like, man, that's good. And I cried. <laughs> Uh, but The Notebook, uh, that was a tearjerker. But then it's a new movie with uh, Lady Gaga. She's a singer. Oh, with Bradley Cooper, right? Yes. I was watching the movie, and at the end, she sang a song, and I was like, <laughs> she's good. But I cried, so I was like, dang. Yeah, so I'm, I have times where I'm emotional.